Hey everybody, as promised, I'm taking you through the build of my kayak cart. Um, hopefully you can hear me through the, the uh, noises of the birds and everything else that's going on outside. But um, anyhow, this kayak cart I built a few years ago. I posted pictures of it on, online it's on some fishing sites and ever since then I've seen people posting theirs, videos of theirs, um, trying to copy this you know in my opinion doing it half as half as good a job as this thing here uh, but now I'm, I'm making some videos and this is the first time you're gonna see it on video so I'm gonna take you through what I did here the first thing is is that you know I have a heavy um, pro angler I did not want to make this thing uh, in a way where it was not stable so uh, I'm using as you can see um, what looks like three and a half by six inch uh, posts that I've cut down to the size that I wanted I'm using heavy-duty wheels see that these wheel it's important to use wheels like this if you're gonna have any bumps that you need to go over, like the end of this uh, apron okay you see that now a wheel like this you can give it a, a good push and it's gonna go over without any problem however if you have a, a small wheel like this on this dolly you're just gonna get stuck in there. You need you need a large wheel. The other thing I like is these wheels have brakes. So, you know, my driveway here has got a slight incline. And if I didn't want this thing uh, to move, I can just apply this brake. Really all you need is one wheel, depending on what side you're at, hit the brake and it stops, it's, it's perfect. So I'm using four inch lag bolts. Now, not screws for this into the post, lag bolts on this side and on this side, okay? Also down here and on the, on the back side, all lag bolts. I've got screws here, but this is not really a support, so this is fine. Here, I'm using uh, screws. Originally, when I made this cart, I had carpeted bunks, so the PVC was not here. I was getting this new truck, the pickup bed was going to be higher, I knew that, and rather than elevate the wood, I decided to use PVC. So for this, I, pilot, I drilled a pilot hole here, and I'm using two and a half inch lag bolts, not screws. If you use screws, the weight of the kayak is going to eventually get the, work this thing free, so you can see using lag bolts in there okay um, the other thing that I like here is I mounted the uh, piece of plywood on the base I keep all of my tackle all of my gear all of my excess fishing stuff that I don't have a spot for keeps it out of the way underneath the kayak it's great it's not cluttering up my garage the thing is awesome so I'm going to show you here how um, I get the kayak on this on this little uh, cart. That's it. It's that simple. All right. Easy to make. Probably took me a total of about 45 minutes. You can do it if you want exact measurements of anything just um, shoot me a note or leave a comment below and um, I'll reply back with uh, I'll take exact measurements for you of my my cart everything that I did here and I'll, uh, I'll reply so you can see anyway I uh, hope you enjoy the video go check out the video of my pro angler and please subscribe thank you